Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom. And we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of April 2023. So before we begin, I'd just like to welcome everyone back to this monthly series and to also welcome anyone who is new to our angelic wisdom community. I'd just like to invite you to subscribe, select the notification bell, um, like, dislike, and leave comments. Um, also, I will be posting a link in the description area below this video for the monthly general reading. So if you haven't had a chance to see it yet, I would highly advise that you do. Um, also, if you'd like to get an angel reading with me, you can go to my current website, theangelschool.com slash services, and you can um, select the first time promotional offer if you are a new client, and there are other options available to you um, as well. So the other piece too is that if you just like to um, donate to our to or contribute to the channel um, financially you can select my paypal me link and anything that you offer uh, will be truly well received and appreciated so thank you in advance for that and the last thing is just to take a look at the cards and the format. So this card in the center represents the angelic being that you'll be working with in this month. And the cards on either side are messages from your guardian angel. Um, it highlights the, this is a major arcana, which will highlight the major theme, um, lessons, um, sort of, influences and energy that's shaping what you're experiencing this month. And then this card on the right is from the minor arcana, which is going to show you the day-to-day -day ways in which that is showing up in your life and what you might need to do to work with that energy. Okay, so let's take a deep breath together. And just focus on your heart space for a minute. And it's interesting because I'm seeing, I felt like I was walking up a hill, you know, um, a very steep hill and there's a you know, tree that captivated your attention. But they wrote aqua, you know, water. And so um, I'm not sure if this is two things, saying one, you know, to, um, to get out more in nature, um, and you know exercise and to drink more water so nature can heal and soothe your energy and water can help to keep you hydrated as well as um, help you to release toxins as well as the exercise as well and so this is about you know shifting your frequency helping you um, adapt a program um, for your body that will help you to clear your energy, Sagittarius. And it feels like, you know, that climb up the mountain feels like, you know, um, or a, a hill feels like you're really in the thick of your ascension process. And so you really um, would, it would be helpful for you to um, exercise and drink water, more water. Now, I don't know why, but I saw, hold on one minute. I saw the message, send jade. Okay, so I have a piece of jade here. I'm just gonna put it here for you, Sagittarius, and I'll remove it for the other readings. But, um, you know, and you could probably Oops, bump the camera. I mean, you could probably send, you know, connect in with 
the energy of this crystal, the jade. Oh. And um, let me just tune into this crystal for a minute. So it's showing me the angel number five, which is highlighting changes, and then eight um, in, in your finances. And it's just the number seven, which is just giving me a sense of being on the right path um, in, in regards to that. So then I saw the angel number 45 in the letter V. I don't know what that means. Um, it could be something about your diet. It could be, you know, um, recommendation, not must, but of a vegan diet. It says the angels are helping you through a positive life change, okay? And um, perhaps this jade will um, attract to you good health. And, you know, health, working on your health blueprint, okay, um, will assist you in attracting abundance. So this is just giving me something as a key. Your health blueprint, taking care of your health, eating healthily as possible, exercising. When you raise your vibration in this way, you automatically raise your vibration in terms of what level you can attract abundance and blessings and rewards into your life. So send jade energy might mean um, to... First of all, connect with the, the crystal itself and get messages from that crystal. And then that crystal, as you're getting messages, that crystal is, is in order for it to interact with you or anything that you interact with, it shares the essence of itself with you. And, they, and the crystal says it's power. And they do this, they write the word play. The, the crystal energy plays with your energy and especially your heart this this crystal wants to play with your heart because this is where so many of you um are stuck they write love um you know you're we're so worried about loving others or being loved by others well we're being we're worried about being hurt by others that we don't allow ourselves to be loved by others, right? And that's another block to abundance because being in love, have you always noticed when you're in love, everything is flowing in, every opportunity, you're, you're, you know, you're fearless. And so, you know, don't, don't make um, contracts, that is to say, when you say, I'll never let another da 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 you know, and it's about a, a man or a woman. When you do that, you, you know, cut off the yourself from the full abundance that you deserve. And then that contract becomes your lesson because that becomes karma. That you have to now go through a series of relationships until you realize that you should never give your power away. And that it doesn't cost you to love. You only gain when you do. Okay. That's the first time I've ever done that, the crystal. <laughs> and they're my best besties. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look at the angelic being that we're working with. And how interesting is this, you know, to get Lady Amethyst, which is, you know, the name of another crystal. Um, and it says, purify your life with love. Prepare for something better. Okay? So one of the things I'm really getting a sense of, of Sagittarius, is you working with crystals and um, clearing your energy. The Working with the crystals, they will work with different components or aspects of you that need healing. So you can either get a deck or you can get some crystals and just tell them, you know, 
and sort of treat it like a, a shuffle and see which one you need to work with. They're right in the word compassion in, in front of me right now. Um, I feel like the, the work that you can do with crystals will also help to raise your vibration by healing, helping you to heal different areas of yourself. So you might want to really start a practice of working with a crystal for the month or a crystal for the week or a day when it feels like it's called for, okay? And, but get out in nature because crystals are nature born, right? So get out in nature to, to with your crystals, clear, cleanse, let nature heal you, soothe you, you know, exercise out in nature, get, get your your breathing really um, flowing and working so that, yeah, you might be saying to yourself, God, I don't want to go out there because I'm going to huffing and puffing, but that's perfect because that huffing and puffing is happening because you're releasing toxins and the, and you're you're getting the, 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 the pure oxygen and environment elements from the environment that you need. And eventually it becomes easier when you do your walks, because now you are in alignment with the algorithms of nature and the universe. So very important work. So you, this is about whatever's happening with you, you're, you're purifying your life with love. This will open you up being in nature. The beauty in nature helps you to appreciate life. It helps you appreciate love and that you are loving and lovable, that you are this you're one in the same treasure that nature is for you. So the traditional death card, but release, right, is a title here. And so the more you can release, <clears throat> and I think it's through energy, and I think this energy is done through nature or exercise or diet. You know, I really want you to think about like, botanicals, um, herbs, you know, um, any kind of natural healing is going to be really suitable. It, it, it's like, it's, it's going to be more gentle in helping you to assimilate these higher frequencies and it'll help you to do it, um, faster. So with the crystals, etc. And so the, 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 the um, Phoenix, it's, it's a sort of rising from the ashes moment for you. Really rising above the, the old frequency. Okay, so we have the Ace of Earth. And so what this says is that new opportunities start to come. They start to attract to this vibration, this new vibrant you, this new light, lighter you that you light up. Not only just light as in weight, but you light up as in shine so that you are attracting um, abundance around that new sunny disposition of yours. And notice how this is just golden here. So a whole new transformation. And it's so cute because he's just got his little book and he's going to be learning. So this is also highlighting that you're going to be learning a lot. You're going to be really learning about how the world um, and seeing for yourself how the spiritual laws of the universe work and how you manifest, right? Through So simply through this method or process that they've um, sort of put out there to you. And I would keep a journal when you tune into your crystals. And I'd tell you one thing that I, th I would just offer you because I've seen it just really boost my intuition and the message is more, is I always call up an energy grid. So when you, you know, just tune into your crystal and send your consciousness into the crystal to be with the crystal um, deva of this crystal. And you'll see that by sending your, your consciousness there, you'll get tons more information that you might have ever before. Okay. All right. So I send you lots of love and angel blessings, Sagittarius, and have a beautiful month of April. God bless.